Today we're talking about Demodex. They really grow on you. Welcome to Salisbury Eye Care and Eyewear. I'm Dr. D. My goal is to arm you with the knowledge you need to take control of your eye health and have the best vision possible. Like and subscribe for videos every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Hello, Dr. D here. I'm a doctor of optometry with my own private practice. I'm residency trained in ocular disease and I specialize in dry eye. On this channel, I post educational videos about eye health and vision products. If you're new here, please consider subscribing and hitting that bell down below so that you never miss a video. Today's video has lots of helpful show notes um, and some links out to other YouTube videos. I'll leave those down in the description below. Today we're talking all about my little friend, Demodex. <laughs> what I need is a motorized Demodex, like a little remote control, and I can just move it through my office and scare people. Wouldn't that be great? All right, so what is Demodex? Demodex are parasitic mites. There are two types that live on humans. Demodex brevis and Demodex folliculorum. For the most part, we're talking about Demodex folliculorum today, although Demodex brevis can be present on the eyelid margin as well. These little guys, like I said, they're parasitic mites, and before you get to feeling really creepy crawly about this, know that we all have bacteria living on our skin and mites living on our skin, and that is absolutely normal. 75% of people over the age of 45 are infested with Demodex mites and have some on their face. So it's pretty likely if you're watching this video, you've got some Demodex on your face. I hate to be the one to tell you. So these little guys love to live in our lash follicles. They hang out at the base of your lashes. They're feasting on your oils, your skin cells that are sloughing off and bacteria that lives on your skin. They make themselves nice cozy little homes there in your eyelash margin, but unfortunately that can wreak some havoc on your eyelids. Demodex infestations, especially if the colony levels get out of control, lead to symptoms like redness and irritation, can exacerbate meibomian gland dysfunction. The meibomian glands are those little glands that run along your eyelids and contribute the oil which is to your tear film, which is the outer layer of your tears that helps fortify your tears and keep them from evaporating quickly. So having too many Demodex taking up residence on your lash line is a problem um, and it causes not only signs of redness but symptoms of dryness and irritation and even blurred vision. Indirectly when you have dry eye that's a disruption in your tear film which disrupts the optics of how you're able to see and I often tell patients looking through a dry eye is like looking through a car windshield with water droplets on it. So yes, Demodex mites are out there and they're a problem but there are some things you can do about them and in Today's video, we're gonna go over five of the best treatments for Demodex mites, some of which you can do at home. Here's your number one tip to get rid of Demodex mites. <laughs> it's normal, that's normal, it's fine. All right, so the first tip really revolves around tea tree oil. I recently made a video on tea tree oil, which I'm gonna link up above, that talks about its action, why it's effective, and it is very effective against Demodex skin mites. So you can use tea tree oil in a couple of different formulations. Number one, there are facial wash formulations that you can use on your entire face, because remember, Demodex can be living on your face, not only in your eyelashes. Reducing the colonization on your face overall is gonna reduce how many actually are able to make their way to their cozy homes on your eyelids. So you can use an overall facial wash with tea tree oil in it. You can also use specific eyelid wipes and we have those in our practice. I've made videos about those before. Optase is one. We've got a video, an unboxing of Hydrate products and they have tea tree oil in them as well. So we'll make sure to link to those in the, in the description below as well as here on the video so you can check out those products. These products, using them daily, twice a day, is gonna help keep those colony levels down. You're not trying to eliminate Demodex completely, but you're trying to keep 
the um, infestation as low as it can be so that you're not having side effects with your eyelids. There's also a strong link between Demodex and rosacea. So by using an actual facial wash, you're helping get rid of those Demodex on the face, which could be contributing to rosacea problems as well. So there really is a good reason to wash your whole face with a tea tree oil product. Speaking of that, you will have to use them on a pretty regular basis. I would recommend probably using the, if, if you have a big infestation of Demodex, using that product more, um, uh, more frequently at first, and then once you get those colony levels down, then just sort of um, maintaining and using the, the wipes and the wash to keep the levels down long term. So my second tip for getting rid of Demodex is just a good old warm compress. Now, I don't wanna be misunderstood here. A hot compress is not going to kill that mite. They're just gonna cozy up and enjoy that heat. However, what a warm compress will do is reduce the amount of stasis you have in your glands. In other words, the amount that those glands are getting filled up. So if you're heating up the meibomian glands regularly, doing some eyelid massage to move those oils out of the glands, you can help kind of move those um, Demodex out. It's just a good thing overall to do for your lids to reduce the amount of inflammation, keep those meibomian glands clear. But this particular part of, the, of my tips is not gonna actually kill those Demodex. My third tip is to use a hypochlorous acid cleaning solution. So by getting rid of the bacteria that these little guys eat, you reduce their food source. And if I don't have a food source, if a restaurant's out of food, I'm gonna go to another one. So put your bacteria on your brother's face and wash your face so that they go to him. I'm totally kidding. Um, but seriously, using a hypochlorous acid spray is very safe for your skin. It's natural. The really good ones don't have bleach or any other chemicals in them. Um, and if you use it on your lids on a daily basis, again, you're gonna keep that bacteria down, which is what Demodex like to eat and feast on. The same can be true of the last tip of warm compresses. If we clear away dead skin cells and ex excess oil, by doing a warm compress, you're getting rid of the Demodex food source and thereby helping control their infestation. All right, tip 3.5. I just learned about this recently. I believe that it's actually fairly new and I have not gotten a chance to use it in my clinic just yet. But there is a product on the market called Zocular and it is okra based so i live in the south now i'm from the north i didn't know about okra but when you cook okra down it gets all slimy and weird and that's a polysaccharide and polysaccharides have anti-inflammatory properties and there are colleagues of mine that are using this zocular or okra based product to get rid of the inflammation associated with demodex infestations and really alleviate their patient's symptoms. So if you have demodex and long-standing issues with it, just consider looking up Zocular or asking your eye care professional about it next time you're in. My next piece of advice is to have good makeup habits. So these little critters like to, um, well, if you have them and you're using makeup, well, gosh, then you put your makeup down in a little tube where they can live and feast on the bacteria that came along with them. And so likely your makeup is contaminated. So making sure to just change your makeup frequently, don't share it with others. You know, there's no gift like Demodex. <laughs> That's, <laughs> it's the gift that keeps on giving. But seriously, you don't want to be giving that to your friends or your mom or just your mom's probably already got them, but almost everybody has some, but you just don't want to increase the infestation on the eyelid margin. This next one is one of my favorites because I am a new proponent of this technology and that technology is Intense Pulse Light or IPL. IPL has been used for decades by um, dermatologists as a photofacial treatment for rosacea, for reducing telangiectasias and redness of the skin, but it also has implications for dry eye. And there are many, many, many studies on this showing the positive effects on dry eye signs and symptoms when using intense pulse light as a treatment. Now, Demodex actually is... Um, meets their demise in the face of IPL. And there's a video that I'm gonna to link to that's not my own. This is Dr. Laura Perryman's video showing death 
by IPL for a little tiny Demodex mite. So I'm going to link it up above. I invite you to check that one out. It is so cool and it shows you in real time how Demodex die when exposed to IPL. So the mecha mechanism of action with IPL is that it targets chromophores and um, that would include like melanin, water, and hemoglobin. So it does get rid of like redness and phalangiectasias, but we just, we do know that it kills Demodex as well. So what this means in clinic is that any patient with signs of Demodex and dry eye symptoms, I absolutely recommend all of the at-home treatments, right? Tea tree oil is gonna keep those, in, that infestation down, keep the colonization down. But a round of, or, um, sorry, a round of IPL would be four treatments spaced apart. That is really effective in minimizing that Demodex population and getting a patient relief. Not to mention, you know, it's good for so many other things with dry eye as well. So I hope you've enjoyed getting to know our little friend Demodex and how to get rid of him. They're certainly not a friend you'd like to have living on your eyelash margins. So leave me a comment down below. Tell me about your experience with Demodex mites. Was it something that was diagnosed right away or did you find it out after years of dry eye treatment? What's been most effective for you? Have you been able to tolerate the tea tree oil preparation? Some patients aren't, their skin is just too sensitive. So I wanna hear all of that down below. Let's start a conversation. Demodex, they really grow on you, but they don't have to. Make sure to like, subscribe, and tune in every Wednesday at eight o'clock for more videos. See you next time. I'm getting a little weird. <laughs> Demodex, they really grow on you.